Hi, welcome to Bookie. Today we will unlock the book Social Intelligence, The New Science of Human Relationships. What kind of person is most likely to obtain happiness? In 1938, Professor Arlie Bach began a 75-year life-tracking project with 724 young Bostonians of diverse backgrounds to answer this question. The group was composed of people from all social classes and even included President John F. Kennedy. In 2015, Professor Robert Waldinger at Harvard Medical School announced findings from the study that shocked the world, close social relationships contribute more to long-lasting happiness than money or fame. They are also a better predictor of a person's ability to live a long and happy life than social class, IQ, or even their genetics. But how do we build these good relationships in order to lead a happy life? Goldman's Social Intelligence, the new science of human relationships will explore this topic with you. You may wonder what social intelligence is. It is a person's capacity to understand human behavior and deal with interpersonal relations. In his book, Goleman suggests that social intelligence has become an essential ability for survival and profoundly impacts our sense of well-being. The book uses neuroscience and psychology to explain the structure and activity of the human brain's neural systems and demonstrate why good relationships heavily influence a person's life. Goleman develops the theory of social intelligence via a wealth of case studies and experimental findings. This allows him to directly describe the ways people can build high-quality relationships and improve their social intelligence. Daniel Goleman received his Ph.D. in psychology from Harvard University. He was awarded the American Psychological Association's Lifetime Achievement Award. For 12 years, Goleman wrote about the brain and behavioral sciences for the New York Times. In addition to this book Social Intelligence, The New Science of Human Relationships, he is also well known for his classic work Emotional Intelligence, Why It Can Matter More Than IQ. Emotional intelligence quashed the widely held notion that people are born with a fixed amount of intelligence in which that level does not change over a lifetime, and became a bestseller, selling more than 10 million copies worldwide. In this bookie, we'll explain the book in three parts. Part 1, High-Quality Relationships Give People a Sense of Well-Being. Part 2, How Does Social Intelligence Contribute to High-Quality Relationships? Part 3, How Can Social Intelligence Be Improved? Humans are social animals, and human interaction is an unavoidable social activity. Goleman proves that a sense of well-being is inextricably linked to high-quality relationships. When we have stable and harmonious relationships, our physical resilience will strengthen, which helps maintain good health. Generally speaking, we rarely associate physical health directly with the quality of our social relationships, but studies have shown that they are one of the most important determining factors. According to statistics from an epidemiological study, toxic relationships are just as likely to accelerate aging and cause disease and death as smoking, high blood pressure, or high cholesterol. An experiment was conducted to monitor the blood pressure of 100 men and women, while they communicated with each other in different ways. It turned out that when they interacted with pleasant people they were relaxed and their blood pressure was stable. When they were asked to engage with annoying people, their blood pressure rose. When people are exposed to toxic relationships over a long period of time, their body will secrete large amounts of stress hormones. This causes effects like the aforementioned rise in blood pressure and can lead to physical problems. If they already have underlying health issues, unhealthy relationships can cause further complications or cause a dormant condition to reoccur. As shown above, bad relationships can seriously damage our health. Conversely, high-quality relationships can have a healing effect. But how does this mechanism work? Positive relationships can repair old emotional wounds in three ways. First, a supportive and healthy relationship can help trauma survivors rebuild a sense of safety lost in trauma. Second, positive relationships can improve trauma survivors' attachment by restoring their feelings of connection to others. Third, positive relationships